Welcome back. So, in this session I will discuss about quizzes. This is a very valuable tool that you can use to quiz students. You can actually hold the exam in the class if everyone has a laptop or a computer with access to the net or you can actually hold such exams where students are in their hostel rooms. You can have various settings that is you can have the exam open during a certain period of time and you can have other settings where once the student logs in you can actually say that the test must be completed within half an hour of the attempt and whatever is question has been answered that will just be submitted once the time is up and the student can no longer go ahead. So, there are many options that can be used. Sometimes you can be slightly lenient and uh, allow more than one attempts and this is specifically when you want the students to learn something very valuable and what you do is that whenever the student answers something wrong there is a place available during the question creation itself where you can give a feedback. So, when the student answers something wrong you can actually later on in, you know during the after the attempt is over you can give a feedback that you gave such and such a question uh, an answer wrong and this is what was expected and probably you were thinking in this fashion. So, this of course, requires a lot of thought if, if you evaluate a lot of answers given by students you roughly would start figuring out how students go about answering and how probably they have not understood a particular topic. So, you can arrange let us say for example, a multiple choice question in such a way that there is one correct answers and the three wrong answers are something which most of the students would somehow give one way or the other if they had understood the whole problem wrong and then you can give appropriate feedback. So, I will just go ahead now and show you how to handle such a quiz. So, what I will do is just open one small quiz here. I have come into the course and you know that it is in the same section when I add an activity or resource. So, let me add an activity or resource and if you see there are so many options I can come to quiz and add it. I will need to name the quiz something. So, let us say this is quiz 2 because I have already added something called quiz 1 which I will show you in a brief amount of time and this quiz tests some general concepts on for example. And then I can have this description on the course page if I want and then what I can do is I can go here and have the quiz timing change. So, for example, I will say enable the opening of the quiz and I can set it for a time which is much later than now. So, I can say start the quiz on 30th May at around 5 or 9 am here and then I will say the quiz can remain open only for 12 hours. So, on 30th May itself I will close it in the evening at 9 pm. So, this is the time that is given to the students to actually attempt the quiz wherever they are and we will allow them only this time to attempt the quiz. So, let me just mark it then I can set a time limit that is the moment a student opens the quiz he can get only he or she can get only let us say half an hour to attempt the quiz. So, as soon as 30 minutes are up whatever answers are there get submitted to the site automatically. So, this is the option when time expires open attempts are submitted automatically. There are other options available here if you click that you can give some grace period. Sometimes if there are multiple attempts then you know you can have some things regarding what happens in between. Uh, let me skip the grading part right now except that I need to tell you that I will let us say allow only one attempt at a time. You can allow unlimited attempts then in the layout you know you can have the students actually get the questions in the same order that you gave them 
or randomly and this is very useful if you are taking a classroom quiz with everyone sitting next to each other. So, you can give 10 questions and everyone sees a random order in which the questions are being asked and even in the question behavior you know if there are options you can shuffle within questions. So, that is not a problem and you can give feedback here. So, this is the feedback that I was talking about the feedback would be actually written down when we are you know feeding in the quiz right now I am only deciding the parameters of the quiz, but I can give deferred feedback and there is something called as a deferred feedback with CBM which is what is known as certainty based marking and I will show you what that means it actually uh, you know tries to give more or less marks depending on how certain the student is and uh, this can affect how the student starts thinking about what he thinks or he or she thinks he has learnt. So, let me put this in and then you can have review options, you can review immediately after the attempt that means, that if you have attempted the quiz you can review whether you got the answers correctly or not or you can review later you can set that after the attempt is over even when the quiz is still on for others you can review it or you can have a review after the quiz is closed for everyone and if you doubt that the students may actually start talking to each other you may click only this set of options and actually close out these sets of options. So, this is what you can do. So, let me leave it as it is right now and then I mean you need not bother about whether there is a user's pictures sometimes you can you know put in grades with two decimals one decimal this is something that I would not bother about and um, there are on extra restrictions on attempt that is in between attempts if you want certain things then you let us say you require a password to come in. So, this especially can be set for people let us say for some reason they missed or they there is a genuine reason and they really need to attempt it again then you can give a particular password to ensure that the attempt is made by that person. Sometimes you can and you know put in a network address that means, only PCs with on a certain network can take it. So, for example, they are sitting in this lab and that is only those PCs uh, students can be you know taking the exams and so on. And similarly, you can enforce delay between attempts and finally, you can give an overall feedback based on what kind of grade the student got. So, if he got 90 percent correct or if his grade is 90 percent then you can say that the student was doing well and this is what was expected and you know certain feedback which you think that needs to be given as an overall feedback and then we can save and return to the course here. So, now once I come to the quiz I can edit its settings if I want. So, which is what is shown here let me not do that or I can now cancel and go to the quiz itself. This is the quiz. So, you see that um, this is what is written about the quiz right now I need to edit it. Once I edit you will realize here that I can add questions now and I can add a new question or I can add a question from a question bank or I can ask add a random question. So, if I say add a new question you see that it gives me many options ok. The options are you know a calculated answer, a calculated answer with multi choice, a calculated simple answer, embedded answers, essay type questions, match the following multiple choice, numerical, random short answers, short answers, true false and various other descriptions. So, what I will do is that I will instead of adding the question here I can actually add it from a question bank which I create. So, what I will do is I will show you a standard question bank in fact, I will add questions to the question bank and from there you know once it is adding a question here is the same as adding a question in a question bank the procedure that is ok. And once you add questions a lot of questions to the question bank you can actually choose from the question bank and see what is I mean choose let us say 10 questions from the question bank and go ahead. So, I will show you a question bank that I have already made 
and um, then we will have a look at how to add the questions to the quiz and then go ahead. So, what I will do is I will take this activity up in the next snippet and uh, we will see a typical question bank that I have created. Thank you.